Miranda wants to see you, Commander. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How'd your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander.
take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan, right in the middle. I have nothing to say to aliens or their pet Krogan. Straight ahead. Give me a reason. Step back. Don't touch anything. longer if they didn't hit every crater. Always want more shock absorption, those babies. One wrong step, Shepard. Shepard, we would have shot any other alien out of the sky, but you, we give the respect to our most powerful enemy. You destroyed Vermeer. You saved us from becoming Saren's minions, but you also destroyed a cure to the Genophage. But more than that, you killed Erdnot Rex. I am clan leader Erdnot Reeve. Rex was my brood brother. choice. Rex was threatening my mission. I'm not blaming you. Your actions on Vermeer allowed me to wrest leadership away from a bunch of radical reformists. Rex died as a Krogan should. His friends became my friends, and Erdnot found its proper path. He had troubling ideas. We are better off with a leader who respects tradition. You can't speak for me, you think. So, Shepard, what do you want here? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Hmm. 
This Krogan smells like a juvenile. Was this clan destroyed before it was taught how to live? I have no clan. I was tank bred by the warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar, Turg, Rend, Violetta. You are the offspring of a syringe, not fit to walk to Chanka. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. You are the product of Okir? He's well hated. He is dead. Too bad. Hate is good. Influential. Why would you care about Okir? This is about Grunt. He thinks a link to Okir could be worth allowing this thing to become an adult. So this is adolescence? Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? Nothing so infirm. He's becoming an adult. He must face the rite of passage. I will not allow this. You risk your status, Reeve. Your clan. Do you wish to become Erdnot Grunt? What does the rite of passage require? The shaman will discuss that. Grunt will succeed, or he'll die, just like the rest of us. You would allow a cloned Krogan to join Clan Erdnot? No, I would not. But Warlord Okir is well known. Grunt could win us some influence. Clan Erdnot can't stay dominant forever. Some of our people will never accept this. We'll have to see how Grunt fares in the right. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If his clan is destroyed, he can be killed without taking the rite. And I advise against delaying the rite any longer. The rite secures clan membership. There is no cure for his mood. He's Krogan. We didn't come all this way for nothing. Yes, my blood demands this. Then speak with the shaman. Seek him here, and prepare yourself. You as well, Shepard. Grunt is your crew. You are part of this. Citadel has these huge arms. Millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? You gonna leave to Chunker? Just you go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Erdnot Reeve has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? Huh. That is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt. Who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? We stand with Grunt as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. What the hell is your issue? What have you got against Grunt? It doesn't matter if one of our own made him. He is a manipulation. He may as well be the genophage in the flesh. The genophage defines the weak. My bloodline will make us stronger. You sound like radicals who weaken us. Change threatens our very core. We are returning to the old ways. 
Get in our way, and the few brains you have will meet the light of day. Huh. I like her. She understands our ways better than some of our own kind. Like a human Shiaga. Shaman, you cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You... you dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. I have other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent.
This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The Keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold.
put them down. Time to fight! Keystone to continue the right. The Keystone. We must have to trigger it again for the next part of the right. Now, all Krogan bear the Genophage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. <laughs>
company. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My Krant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the Warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem. But not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. There they are. Getting up close! <laughs> try a real man. Get ready for close combat! I'll put them down! Charging!
us the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Runt, you are Erdnacht. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battlemaster. Shepard is my battlemaster. She has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnacht Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This should come in handy. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. 
find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. done with the place. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hardsuit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard, if they're still alive. Empty. Otherwise, just like the ones on the horizon. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the Collectors. This looks bad. Why would the Collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Must have been used for testing. I'd say these subjects didn't pass. There are worse things than death. Like being a test subject for twisted aliens. You're probably right. Doesn't feel much better, though. 
This galaxy never gets any brighter, does it? That's a collector. Why would they experiment on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. Damn straight, they're not doing that shit to us. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. This is unbelievable. They could take every human in the Terminus systems and have parts left over. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Something doesn't smell right. There's no collectors around, living or dead. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard.
That can't be good. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Look out, we've got company. Lock and load.
progress cannot be halted. Your form is fragile. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. And here I thought I'd had my betrayal and attempted murder for this year. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. A 
I do not have full control of their systems, I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
Affirmative! Here they come. You got it.
far side of the room. Loud and clear. Affirmative.
this might be useful.
weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you should try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. 
Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. I wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the Collectors through the Relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Tough choice. Continue to build up the team or go investigate the derelict Reaper? It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. You've received a new message at your private terminal.
Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Commander Bravo, 
Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Nine o'clock. Fire in the hole. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past.
We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Squad Charlie, Delta, mass at the gatehouse! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. God nearsighted old friend. Burn you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. The mission is to save these workers, not burn them to death. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stopped to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way.
go! Might be useful. I need cover. Hostiles incoming. Firing a high impact shot.
Jeez. You know, it was nothing personal, just business, I swear. <laughs> it was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please! I'm gonna die here, man! Do something! Try, you son of a bitch. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Just a moment with you, Commander.
sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal, instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? 
Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. <laughs> their systems. This should punch through their armor. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Sounds like your friend Akep might be in some trouble. 
If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Hostile drone.
I'll take it. <clears throat> no shields. through the cargo line. Incineration ready! Weakening their integrity! Ah. 
Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Well, you know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. <laughs> Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness, you weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. So was I. Could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. 
Everyone makes mistakes. I'm guessing that's one you won't repeat. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. Maybe some part of him regretted what he did and he wanted to atone somehow. You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. Let's get moving. Right. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. Okay, let's go. something out. Stop worrying. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Sue the city. 
Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system. And you can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and... Okay, listen, give Fax a full refund, do you hear me? He knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now, and then get your ass someplace safe! Still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. Leave me alone. I can't talk to anybody. Leave me alone. I can't talk to anybody. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good? All blue rows of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. What do you want? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Or if our love is to survive. It must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any... I'll talk to you later. Blue Rose of Ilium. You have blossomed in a tower of glass. Beauty under glass is untested. Where are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. As Spectre? I heard you weren't reinstated. Too bad. You did good work. So, 
I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What did you find on Liara's terminal? Not much. She wiped her drive before she left. Liara knew I was coming. She'd have made a backup of whatever she found. Makes sense. Haven't found it yet, though. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Don't worry, Commander. We'll find her. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, Avalthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. Certainly into ugly. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disk. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sikat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! Damn it. Now what? They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Was it a bomb? What happened? Thank <laughs> you. 
bombs, killing everyone. Vizier, I found a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontiers office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limitless possibilities. Expansion, exploration, and financial... Get down!
be useful. been a few seconds faster I could have stopped them. Is this Sakat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Oh, uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. So what? You were just using me to find a message? Nothing personal, Shepard. Just needed a little help tracking down Liara. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood pet!
shot. By the way, thanks for asking. There she is. Hang a right. No, wait, left. I'm on her. Hang a left. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are we? Oh, goddess. I'm, I'm not... Letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. One. Truck. I know. Truck! I know! There we go. You're enjoying this. A head-on collision at this speed. Yeah, I knew those could be bad. Again? Watch out. Damn backup. Watch out. They're dropping reinf- There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down.
right. Come on, she can't have gotten far. They've blocked the door! 